Hi there, welcome to my build of this 45 inch wingspan New Era 3 Revisited. Well, we've got to that stage now where we're going to start adding some colour to it. We're going to start the covering process and I'm going to start with the wing first and then we'll move on to the, uh, to the fuselage. I'm going to be using two different colours. I've got this metallic green and I've got a kind of a, quite a bright, a bright yellow. These are both Litex, uh, which is supplied by the World Models in Hong Kong. It's, uh, it's a nice film, I've used it before, I'm quite pleased with it, and it's really reasonably priced. So I, I see no reason not to use it again. If you have a look in the description below this video, there'll be a link to a review I've done of, of Litex. So, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna do the underside first, and just lap that up around to the ball nose and I'm going to be doing that completely in the green. Both sides, all green. Then on the top, I will be lapping the covering round on top of the, the, uh, the underside and just so it's downwind of the airflow on the underside of that ball nose and also wrap it into the aileron, into the aileron bay it, or, or trailing edge, it's not really a bay, but. And I'm going to be using the green on the front, so the green along the front here on this uh, leading edge sheeting and then I'm going to be doing a, a seam of the yellow on this, uh, on this back section. The yellow being the lighter colour and being downwind of the airflow will be done first, so do the yellow and then I will put the green on the darker colour so it will cover the yellow better and it will also make a seam that's downwind so it will be a lot more secure. So that's the colour scheme. I'm, I, there may well be the, the green that kind of comes round here and into the fuselage down to the, the root of the wing. But we'll see. It'll probably end up just a strip along the front. So I will uh, start to trim this up and get it on and we'll see how it goes. We've now got the underside done, and uh, or I say done, it's it's covered anyway. There's still a lot of it that I haven't shrunk. I've stuck it down onto the sheeted surfaces and down the middle here, 
and uh, I've done the wing tips, but I haven't uh, I haven't shrunk it over the um, unsupported areas, you know, in the uh, in these in, in these wing bays. I um, I don't want to do that at the moment. If I shrink it too much, it's going to pull it off these edges here. It will pull it off the wing tip and so it will make the overlap difficult. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put on the yellow, overlap onto, uh, onto the trailing edge there and onto the, the wing tip and then I'm going to put the green on. In fact, uh, will I do it? I'm not sure yet whether I'll do yellow, yellow and then green, green. I might do yellow and, gr and then green. I don't know which order I'll do it in. But anyway, I, I, once I've got that all overlapped and the seams done, I will then go over it and shrink it properly. I'll probably do that very gently with a hot air gun, but uh, I may do it with the iron. The, the wing tips have, uh, this wing tip's come out quite nice. The, the first wing tip I did uh, has got a little bit of a uh, a wrinkle in it, a couple of wrinkles there, but I'm hoping that will come out with the hot air gun but I need to be really careful not to not to overdo it. So right I will get on and do the top now as I say I'll probably I probably will do the yellow and then the green and then uh, just on one side and then switch to the other side but we'll get on and do that now. I've got this lined up and I've got it tacked at either end just, just very briefly but I'm waiting for my iron to cool down. You, you always need to test your heat on, on the type of film that you're using because every film is going to be different. And I'm waiting for my iron to cool down because it's quite hot at the moment and if I start sticking it down while it's hot it's going to be shrinking it as well and I don't want any shrinkage or as little shrinkage as possible at the moment I just want to make it sticky so I can stick it down and once I've got it all tacked into place I can then think about trying to shrink it but if it shrinks while I'm sticking it it's going to end up a little bit uh, a little bit harder to do and I'm, I'm using my Prolux digital heating iron which um, if you look in the description below this video you'll find a, a, a review to, to that. So it's a, this is a great iron, I've covered lots of, lots of planes with it and it, it does a really nice job. And you'll notice I'm not wearing, or <laughs> the, the iron isn't wearing a sock. I, I used to religiously wear a sock when I was putting film on uh, and then I didn't just one time and I found it so much more positive without the sock so I, I, I don't use a sock at all now. Right, anyway, this has come down to temperature, so I'll get on.
gone on lovely. I'm, I'm really pleased with this. I, I, I absolutely love the two colours together. And the wing tips uh, have come out quite nice. The, the, got out all of the wrinkles except for just a very slight one on one of the, yeah, just on the underside. In fact, the very first one I did has got a little bit of a wrinkle there. But, uh, but the other, the other uh, wing tips have come out lovely. Well, now is a time that we need to relocate the slots for the aileron hinges. And we can just use the aileron to line that up and then cut the slots in the film. And you can see I, I've done these here and I've, uh, I've put the aileron hinges in there. So what I'll do now is I'll cover the ailerons and then we can use these hinges just to relocate the slots in the aileron itself. So it's so, re so rewarding to, uh, to get this done and uh, it's one of those jobs you just can't rush, you just have to take one step at a time. Right, well, I've now got the wing completely finished. I've got the ailerons on and, uh, and covered. They're not glued in yet. I, uh, I'll wait until I've actually set the servos up before I'm uh, gluing these in. But I'm just going to CA the, the three hinges and then I'll peg them with a cocktail stick and just cover over the, the, the hole, the hole will be on the underside. So I've got the servos to put in. I've also got the landing gear wire to, uh, or supports for the wheels to, to go in either side. So I'll need to cut the film and just screw that down with a couple of straps. But that's a, a fairly easy, quick job. I've also covered the, uh, the, the servo trays, servo trays and, and covers, yep, on the underside of the wing. So the servos just bolt into here for the ailerons. And just a, something I've tried which I haven't done before is if you see on that tray there it's quite white in there when you look inside where you can see the um, plywood just through there and, uh, and I thought well I'll kind of dull that down a little bit and I've just used a black sharpie to uh, just to go around the cut edge and it just doesn't stand out quite quite as much. I don't know how that will stand the test of time, but it's only a little bit of an area, it's an indelible sharpie. And it's not an area, because it's where the servos are, it's not an area where I'm anticipating getting fuel oil, uh, or oil and fuel. So we'll see how that goes, it just kind of dulls it down a little bit. I mean it's on the underside so you won't see it anyway. One tip, which I think is, for me, it was a, a revelation. Um, but. I, I was I used to use with the iron I used to use a, a metal stand which was a little bit awkward and um, just kept tipping over and things and it was a bit you had to kind of locate it. Now the last thing you want to be thinking about is your stand and where you're putting the iron when you're covering something. So nowadays I just put a towel on the bench and I just put my iron on the towel and it's, it's surprising a difference it makes when you don't have to think about it, you're going to be covering, you just put it down and you can carry on doing what you're doing. Just things like that uh, just seem to make life a lot less stressful and a lot easier. So anyway, that's a, <laughs> for what it's worth, there's a, there's a tip. Well, thanks for watching the covering of this wing and um, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you found it useful and, and the high speed film, that you could glean something from that. In the next video we're going to be covering the fuselage and uh, it's going to be really exciting, same two colours and uh, it will be really nice to see that start to take shape. So please, please subscribe, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think and, uh, and thanks very much for watching.